Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today, day number 271 of the 365 day trivia road trip. Today's quiz was submitted by Jeannie Junkins. Now, usually Dave and Jeannie submit quizzes as a pair, but today and tomorrow they've sent in individual quizzes. Today is Jeannie's, tomorrow is Dave's. There's probably going to be a handful of Harry Potter questions, so get ready. Question number one for Genie's Quiz. They are perhaps best known for the apprehension of fugitives and also the protection and safety of government witnesses. What is this oldest law enforcement agency within the Department of Justice that operates under the direction of the Attorney General through multiple disciplines? The answer is the U.S. Marshal Service. U.S. Marshals. Question number two. It was often created by using a single source of light falling unevenly or from a particular direction. What is this Italian artistic term that pertains to the treatment of light and shadow in paintings, drawings, or photographs, particularly the contrast and shadowing used to create a three-dimensional effect? The answer is chiaroscuro. Question number three. These mountains are a part of the Rockies extending north approximately 40 miles into the state of Wyoming, just east of the Idaho state line. It was made famous by the photography of Ansel Adams of the Snake River Overlook. Jackson Hole is also located in what mountain range? The answer is the Tetons. Question number four. Popular in the late 1800s and the early 1900s, this type of music is always characterized by the use of four-part harmony and always performed a cappella. The singers will be a lead, a bass, a tenor, and a baritone, and the music is considered a blend of white and African-American. The answer is barbershop music. Question number five. In the U.S., presidential emergency action documents are a draft of classified orders or proclamations and messages to Congress. These are prepared in advance for use by the president in the event of a worst case scenario. By what acronym are they known? Presidential Emergency Action Documents are known as PEADs. Question number six. What is the term for the rhetorical device often used by politicians in which the speaker calls attention to something specifically by saying he will not mention it? For example, well, I don't mean to suggest this, but what is that called? That rhetorical device is called a paralipsis. Question number seven. The countries of US, UK, Australia, New Zealand, and Canada are an alliance who share a broad range of intelligence with one another in one of the world's most unified multilateral agreements. What is the name of this intelligence alliance? That is known as the Five Eyes. The Five Eyes. Question number eight. This Spanish phrase, la derecha oprime, la izquierda libera, has the literal meaning of the right oppresses and the left liberates. It's a fancy way of saying what phrase that we use to help us remember which way to turn the lid or the screw.
la derecha oprime la izquierda libera or righty tidy lefty loosey question number nine the chain of rocks bridge crossing the mississippi north of st louis missouri was built in 1929 and has a distinctive bend halfway across the river it was part of the mother road otherwise known as what What's another name for the Mother Road? The answer is Route 66. Question number 10. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Meaning unconquerable or undefeated what is the title of this poem that was written by William Ernest Henley about courage in the face of death and keeping one's dignity despite the indignities placed before us what is the one word title of that poem I am the master of my fate I am the captain of my soul the answer is Invictus Question number 11. He writes a popular detective series featuring two members of the U.S. Marshal Service named Lucas Davenport and Virgil Flowers. What is the pseudonym for best-selling author John Roswell Camp? Those stories are published under the name John Sanford. Question number 12. It's considered a final act of charity for the transfiguration of the spirit and is the most widespread way for commoners to deal with death. What is the name given to this Tibetan funeral tradition that involves allowing a corpse to be devoured on a mountaintop? The name sounds way better than the description. They call it a sky burial. That's the answer, not being devoured on a mountaintop. Question number 13, caused by rising air with a forward shear that blows across the rising air, what is the name of the new cloud category that was made official in 2017 that has rippling or turbulent wave appearance and are usually low lying and appear just ahead of a storm front? This new cloud category is asperitas, or undulitis asperitas. Question number 14. This American singer-songwriter died in 2003 from mesothelioma. He wrote a beautiful song as a final farewell called Keep Me In Your Heart. Who was this man who was probably better known for his song Werewolves of London? Werewolves of London by Warren Zivon. Question number 15. There are only four common words in the English language which end in D-O-U-S. Three of them are stupendous, tremendous, and horrendous. But a stupendously tremendous and horrendous accident could be what fourth D-O-U-S to your health? The answer is hazardous. Question number 16, not a pound or a number symbol. This is the technical name for the hashtag symbol. What is the name of this eight pointed figure that is found on keyboards and keypads that is also used as the background for a game of tic-tac-toe? That specific shape or design is called an octothorpe. Question number 17. The human body is commonly known to have five senses, but many of us have more. Chronoception, 
a sense of time passing, thermoception, being able to gauge the temperature, and proprioception, which is the awareness of where your body parts are. What is nociception? The answer is the awareness of pain, nociception. Question number 18, capable of great destruction. What is the technical term for the widespread and severe windstorm that moves several miles in a fairly straight line along with bands of thunderstorms? That is called a derecho. Question number 19, common in the early 1900s in the Appalachians, it involves friends and family singing and laughing and banging on pots and pans outside of the couple's bedroom window. What is the name of this very noisy mock serenade for a newly married couple? I believe there's also a band that has this name. Otherwise, it's not a very common word. The term we're looking for is a chivalry. And question 20. Last vocabulary question for the day. This is a term for the earthy fragrance during a rain after a long dry spell due to chemical compounds and decomposing vegetation in the soil. What is the name of this scent that can travel rapidly downwind to alert people there is rain on the way soon? That specific smell of rain is called petrichor. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trippia. Thank you again to Jeannie Junkins for submitting a fun but a tough quiz. I feel like I just got done with a very hard vocabulary word quiz. I didn't know a lot of these, but I learned a lot today, and that's what we're here for. I appreciate when somebody sends in a quiz that allows me to really uh, stress my brain out and learn new things. So like words like chiaroscuro, paralipsis, uh, asperitus, derecho, chivalry, petrichor, all of those. Petrichor I'll probably use again. I don't know how often I'll use the term chivalry, but I guess we'll find out. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to play quizzes like this every day. Here's question 21, the tiebreaker. The longest road in the world is the Pan-American Highway stretching from Alaska down the west coast through Mexico and South America to the tip of Argentina. Approximately how many miles long is it? Whichever player gets closest to this number is going to win the point, even if they don't hit it straight on. The Pan-American Highway is roughly 19,000 miles long. What a road trip.